What's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston, and it is that time of year again. The guys over at Tiger Stream have sent me another brand new unit, and I will be giving that away. But until I do, they are offering, using a promo code, Richie, and you will save 100 bucks off. Now, there are a million sponsors that try to get with me, and I have to say no. This one, I don't watch television. I don't do any of that. But I know a lot of you do. This will literally cut that one monkey off your back. If I could figure out a way to get around it so we didn't have to pay a phone bill, I'd be selling that stuff too. But I haven't found one yet. So for now, use the promo code Richie. You'll save 100 bucks off of this and you won't have to pay a cable bill anymore. So there's that. Everything you need to know will be in the description. Now onto the video. You absolutely have to love this. You have to love this. The murderous usurper Jesuit Pope Francis is now telling people not to argue with the devil. He's much more intelligent than us. And he goes on to, I mean, he goes on to break this down. The devil is much more intelligent intelligence than mere mortals and should never be argued with, Pope Francis has warned. Satan is not a metaphor or a nebulous concept, but a real person armed with dark powers, the Pope said in a forthright remark made during a television interview. He is evil. He's not like mist. He's not a diffused thing. He is a person. I am convinced that one must never converse with Satan. If you do that, you'll be lost, he told TV 2000, a Catholic channel, gesticulating with his hands to em emphasize this point. He's more intelligent than you, and he'll turn you upside down and make your head spin. He'll always pretend to be polite. He does it with priests, with bishops. That how, that's how he enters your mind. But it ends badly if you don't realize what's happening in time. And I'll leave the rest of this if you want to read all of this, but I find it really, really, really strange that this comes out right after we hear the people in the artificial intelligence and quantum computer fields all talking about summoning old ones beyond demons, so forth and so on. And we're hearing this from a bunch of people that sit in front of a throne that looks like this. This is the papal throne. Now, how in any way in the world should this belong in a building of holy men? This looks exactly like what it is. This is nothing more than demons ripping out of the earth, out of the shale, hell, whatever you want to call it. There's no two ways about that. This is incredibly demonic, and that's just basically what these guys do. Not a big deal. None of this looks like anything spiritual, uplifting, or godly. None of it. And now, for whatever reason, the Pope has decided to come out and say that the Satan the devil is a real person walking amongst us and we should not converse with him. What a strange thing. What strange timing. And I mean, don't let it bother you that this is the papal throne. You see what I'm saying? How crazy is this? This looks nothing like this. Look at this. This is it. I'm almost speechless here. It's all demons. It's because that's what these people are. And I could go on and on and on with all the creepy stuff, including the Lucifer room in the Vatican. But I digress. And what could be more Christ-like than having an enormous obelisk sitting directly in the center of the keyway of the Vatican? And yet there it is. But again, Pope Francis frequently refers to the devil in his homilies, sermons, and on Twitter, where he's followed by 40 million people in nine languages. He uses various firms, terms to refer to to the Prince of Darkness, including Satan, the Evil One, the Seducer, Beelzebub, and the Great Dragon. It's a Jesuit thing. He's a Jesuit who is deeply imbued with the spiritual exercises of Saint Ignatius of Loyola, which allows people to discern the movements of good and bad. Yeah, well, those Jesuits, they're known for their goodness and kindness and so forth and such. For instance, let's take a look at the Jesuit oath right here, because this just goes on and on and on. You have been taught your duty as a spy to gather all statistics, facts, and information in your power from every source. 
to ingratiate yourself with the confidence, family circles of Protestants and heretics of every class and character, as well as that of the merchant and the banker. So basically be whatever face you must be, no matter what, to get what you need to do. And that would explain why suddenly Pope Francis popped up out of nowhere and he's now the Pope. Do you know what I'm saying? And if you continue to read this, you know, this right here is, is taking it easy. This is unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. In confirmation of which, I hereby dedicate my life, my soul, and all corporal powers. And with this dagger, which I now receive, I will subscribe my name written in my own blood. Should I prove false or weaken in determination, my brethren and fellow soldiers of the militia of the Pope cut off my hands and feet and my throat from ear to ear, my belly opened and sulfur burned therein, with all the punishment that can be inflicted upon me on earth and my soul be tortured by demons in eternal hellfire. But hey, at least he's warning you that the devil's a real person. I just find this very, very, very strange timing. At any rate, Richie from Boston, links will be in the description. This is something you should pay attention to, or don't. I'm out.